Hey, folks, how's it going? We're checking out more One Foot in the Grave. Hopefully, you guys have a fantastic day, man. I appreciate you guys letting me know that I missed the whole witch episode. Witch, the witches and the witch, I can't remember what it's called, but I have the episode. But it was removed from BritBox for some reason, man. Similar to what happened with Only Fools and Hor Horses, I think we were watching To Hull and Back, and that episode was taken off of BritBox. I believe it was that one. I didn't look it up or nothing, but I'm pretty sure that was the episode that was removed, and I had to track that one down just to watch it. Sometimes that happens, man. I'm glad you guys let me know that uh, I missed an episode. But yeah, it's not on BritBox, as you guys can see here. It goes straight from the external angel to starbound then end game there's no uh the season of the witch or the witch's winter or whatever but yeah i, I have the episode we're gonna be watching that one today so i did miss it i'm glad you guys let me know man for sure because i know i would have gotten to it before the series is over because it's always included an episode count like a total episode count and when i realized that i didn't hit the number of episodes and that's when i would have i would probably end up watching it at the end of the series that's what would have happened but i'm glad we caught it before I, we left the season even though there's only one more season left i'm just glad we caught it before leaving season five it just makes more sense to finish it now but as i said i would have caught it before the show was over because i always make sure i hit that number of episodes anyway whatever the number that i put next to it but yeah man i appreciate you guys let me know that i missed the episode we're gonna be jumping into that one today so let's just go ahead and jump into it we'll talk about it more at the end i hope you're all well and that life is treating everyone kindly in your part of the world as usual we had our share of misfortunes this end not least the sudden death of your Auntie Ursula, which I hardly need to say came as a terrible blow to us all. In fact, I don't imagine any of us could possibly have foreseen the utter nightmare that was about to take hold of our lives that night three weeks ago as we prepared to celebrate our 37th wedding anniversary. To begin with, the day had been unusually calm. Victor had got himself some part-time work doing odd jobs on a farm just outside town and I'd been out shopping with some friends but by six o'clock that evening trouble was already brewing Back! Sorry I'm late! <laughs> you have a good time at the farm? If you go plodding about a cloud field all day looking for a wedding ring a good time Yes! <laughs> My spine feels like one of Yuri Geller's teaspoons. Is that lady supposed to be like a... Trot is happy oh out there now looking for that... The spoon thing. bender lady. Oh, God! <laughs> no, no, no. I can't possibly agree... Of course, a high level of toxicity would make the pathology conclusive, obviously. The, the hepatic culture would be essentially redundant. If you're looking at a liver the size of an orthopedic mattress, that's not subjectivity. It's empirically suggestive, surely. You say it might rain tomorrow. <laughs> make it mucky on the farm for you again. Yeah. How would he know you are going to come to a sudden, untimely end? Eat your seaweed. <laughs> Big day. A sudden and untimely end. Oh, what? Things that people come out with. I don't know how you're well, expected. I can well recall when I was an intern in Tallahassee. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I thought for a minute this pepper pot had been bugged and wired up to a 100 watt PA system. I came here tonight for a quiet meal with my wife. So will you please do our eardrums a favor and everyone else's and keep your bloody voice down? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Put your head back. That dude was super loud. Do I know he was that far away? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> oh, what, do not what are you talking about? You're the fifth one he's had this month. All the others twigged it after three days. Twigged it? Twigged what, for goodness sakes? You work it out. <laughs> 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 the 
Cat just on a blank like mission. Come back, Cat, you hear me? And tell me what it is I'm supposed to have drank. Well, spread some jiffy bags on the floor and uh, you get them top. Well, no, I mean, how could you lie to him like that? Oh, oh no. Oh, it's insane. I mean, someone your age, sick. I, mean, I just wanted to make him jealous. Bonus. To show him I couldn't be taken for granted. I never thought we'd take it that seriously. I mean, to say he was going to kill you. Exactly. <laughs> He's all mouth him, don't worry. He's uh -huh. never killed anybody in his life. Oh, yeah. Good. First time for everything. Not killed them, exactly. I mean, he was never really that violent before they put him away. See, that's the trouble with prisons. You learn bad habits. Obviously, Lady. I've told him it was all just a wind-up, but he won't believe me. He's got it all locked inside there now. As far as he's concerned, you're dead. I think I made a bit of a mess of things, haven't I? Anyway, look, uh, thanks for the drink, and, um, well, I'll see you around me. I mean, you need to tell my wife, too, because I come home beat up, bro, that you made some crap up. Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> that lady's crazy. Hey, I've got a whole house full of junk up there to dispose of now, somehow or other. All her documents and her paperwork to sort through. Not to mention the dreaded Edwin. Who's Edwin? Can well. you credit it? I mean, can you begin to credit it? <laughs> You're back early. Did he give you the afternoon off? Toffee knows, Palmer. I'll give him the afternoon off. I mean, you're employed as an odd job man, and you expect the jobs to be a bit odd, but not that. <laughs> Five days out there, traipsing up and down that field, thinking I was looking for a wedding ring. Do you know what was all about? He, he was only using me as a scarecrow. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I got one of the tractor drivers to tell me in the end. Jesus. <laughs> Apparently the wooden ones are no good anymore. The birds just perch in the arm. That's why he put me in this big white coat, if you please, to make sure that I'd be seen by the rooks. Sorry? <laughs> This is pretty I smart. always knew that degree course yeah, I took at to Wurzel Gummidge College, Cambridge. <laughs> yes? <laughs> yes? <laughs> pretty smart move, man. Yeah, wait a minute, I hear something? What in the name of hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> I'm running a bloody transport cafe in the bedroom now. I'm going to my point and put some daddy sauce in the dressing table. Go on, get out the pair of you for crying out loud. He's going to the country too. This is gonna be a long drive, dude. In the truck for a long time. Come on, come on. You're here somewhere. I know you are. And he's freezing the truck too. Gone to. Oh, 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 oh shit. Start screaming or something, bro. If you hear his voice. Oh, 
an air freshener? What the hell are you doing? Oh, what the hell are you doing in there? Don't ask. Don't ask. <laughs> like, bro, that's a reason. You didn't in the tell me. You leave under the boot and start squirting at me with toilet freshener. I think I'm entitled to some explanation. But uh, do you mean, uh, like in that film, arachnophobia? <laughs> Did you ever see that? <laughs> you don't want to watch that, man. Yes. Yeah, you think you're crazy, man. You might need to tell him. He's going I know you don't want to freak him out, but. God almighty. The biggest shit. <laughs> Should I do it? <laughs> Can I come in? Uh, do you have to go this second? Mr. Meldrew, there's already enough permafrost in my underpants to keep a leg of lamb fresh for a month. <laughs> and standing by a lavatory passing icicles does not come high on my list of favorite sensations, sir. It's out of order. What? The, 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 the pipe must have frozen or something. It, it, it won't flush. Why don't you use the one downstairs and, I, and I'll get a bath running? <laughs> Goofy as heck. <laughs> no. Wait. Level four. Mm. Now, where are we? Where is that funny? <laughs> and they've taken your furniture away to be sold in a junk shop. <laughs> nobody, nobody seems to know quite where, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, bro, I'm gonna kill you, man. <laughs> so, uh, who's going? I'm gonna kill you, dude. Yours or mine? No. <laughs> it's freaking like terrible, man. Mr. Meldrew, on balance, I'd rather stick my head up an elephant. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be PO too, man. That is. Because how are they going to track that van down, man? That's going to be tough. Oh my god, bro. Did she get changed in front of there, too? Yo. Be pissed off. <laughs> hey, why did I pay 50 bucks for this? <laughs> this should have been free. Wondering if. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor man. Take a couple of Valium tonight and to hell with it. <laughs> <laughs> that toilet back in the back seat. I'll have the rest of the bottle. Oh, shit. That scared the shit out of me, dude. So helpful. I'm told about my missing brother-in-law. Gave me directions up here and everything. Damn. I told you nothing happened with me and Christine. You are dead, mate. Why don't you believe me? We never did anything. God, what's up in there now? I promise you. His business for his secretary. Honestly. I thought they'd got it all sorted out. Listen to me. I've never laid a finger on her. Please just try and understand. Ah! <laughs> Sick. He's a damn cop. Let's beat his ass. Yeah, in the car? Oh, she was in the car to get something. Okay. Just food and they're going to carry on like this every bloody night. Look, I've got no reason to lie to you. She doesn't even fancy me in the first place. She won't fancy you any place after tonight. 
Just let them be. It's got nothing to do with us. This is ridiculous. I mean, what's she doing to him in there? Shh. Oh, there's no fault this one. Oh shit! <laughs> this is a horror movie stuff, man. That was close. and stuff and like outdoorsy maybe maybe the guy was a hunter the husband oh what the witch said she is worried anyway Iris the light will be going soon and it's starting to get a bit chilly. So I expect I'll finish this later. When I get home. Of course there's more episodes. I mean, how could anyone miss like that? All the same as Jimmy White and a fight. You're lucky only one with a broken arm. Oh. Here's that weird angle again. When you think the ball's going to shoot out of the screen and whack you in the eye. <laughs> These miniature cameras everywhere in sport now. Goal post, cricket stomps. Suppose I've been sticking one up Willie Carson's bottom before long. <laughs> then all the other horses coming up behind him. You were a long time in the end. Popped down the cemetery to put some flowers on your dad's grave. And then I got writing oh, okay. that letter to Iris and time just seemed to yeah, slip away. Sense. You tell her about all that business at Ursula's and the witch. Yes. Character who said I'd be dead within five days shot his theory down in flames. Of course, I can't get everything right. <laughs> but I was going to live a long and peaceful life. Peaceful enough tonight. Oh, for the love of Mike, listen to that. <laughs> that bloody snapping noise is starting up again now. The one that sounds like Indiana Jones inside the set cracking his whip every five seconds. <laughs> Fixed it. I've just about had it. Come round here, resting their soldering irons in your glasses. She asked me, I don't <laughs> Hello! Is that the service department? I heard that in the background. Yes, you can tell her it is the bald old beggar with the attitude problem. You're likely to have the way your service department carries on. Never mind, go back to being a scarecrow. <laughs> I like that she found peace in the fact that she's gonna not live a long life in peace. And if that makes sense, I like that she found peace in the fact that the witch is wrong. You know, she said she's gonna live like a long and peaceful life and the witch is wrong because like he, <laughs> he's like bitching on the phone and always nagging and stuff. <laughs> she's just like, yeah, everything's, the witch is wrong, man. I don't need to put any stock into what this person is saying. They need to give him a lot of thanks, man, because Victor went in head first, bro. When he saw him about to kill old boy, he ran full speed like a football player and tackled a crap out of that dude man without hesitation as soon as you saw him about to kill him and through the window man yeah he owes him a huge thanks man he put his life on the line went out the window with him i don't think he expected to go out the window but he still went out there somebody who took out somebody way younger than him and put his life on the line that's one thing victor isn't he doesn't really hesitate when people are too loud all that stuff he'll just run right into like the heat of whatever it is even if there's an ass on the other side of that conversation or whatever it is <laughs> he just does it dude so he definitely saved his life. Poor Peppa. <laughs> she 
definitely thought they would have a real nice romantic sexy night doing this perverts watching them another row i like bro why do we pay 50 dollars <laughs> I was like, it's a good deal for this room for fifty dollars and you guys about to watch us get it on, bro. No. It's free. It's on the house, man. Fifty bucks, bro. No. That is they are out of control. She put on a little gown and everything, wanted to try to have a good night and they ruined it. A bunch of perverts. Yeah, and that was a weird mustache. Some people surprisingly that, that weird what is it called? Pin or whatever mustache seemed to work for. It. it works for some people, dude. Not him, it just looked weird on him. Made him look like a pedo. I so said people call it the universal pedo mustache. I won't say it's universal. Some people would actually, I don't know, I guess you said it, they look dapper with it. It just works for them. But some people, they just like pedos, man. It just doesn't work out right. Just like the bushy mustache doesn't work out for everybody. It just kind of look like uh, douchebags. I don't know. To each your own. But still, rock whatever facial hair you want, man. Whatever you want. But just know some people, it just, it just doesn't match them. I don't know. Really surprised that Spider didn't come up and do anything to him, man. I, I definitely thought it was going to go that way. Maybe because it was too predictable. That's why they didn't let that happen. They didn't let the Spider show up anywhere and, like, scare him or anything because we just, it was predictable. He has arachnophobia. There's a Spider. And the fact that it scared Peppa was just a bit more unexpected. So that's why he went that route. Well, I, I definitely thought it was going to be under the sheets or something like that. Very surprised the old boy was behind the curtain. That actually scared me. That caught me off guard big time, man. I did not think he was going to find them all the way up there. The whole I thought the whole boyfriend arc was just gone, you know? Yeah, and they were just preparing their relationship. And I'm, I'm, I'm guessing since he saved his life, their relationship is a bit better. It's not so rocky. Because things are doing pretty good until he made that screw up with the whole mover thing. And who expected that too, man? That they actually were in the right house, you know? It seemed like they were in the wrong house the way things were going. They're like, oh, they're going to move all the stuff and all that. But no, they're in the wrong house the entire... That's some good writing, man. That they're actually in the right house the entire time. And it seemed like they're in the wrong house. And he got them out and yada, yada, yada. So they knew something was iffy right there. When he got them out before they could screw anything up, you should have knew that, like, wait a minute. That's not how these things usually go. So, yeah, I should have figured that it's, it, it doesn't go that well. Man, oh man, that was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. That was made it really unexpected. And a girl's cold blooded for making things so being so nonchalant about like lying to her crazy boyfriend, bro, about them cheating just to make him jealous. Like, don't use me in your lies, you crazy lady. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Like, I have a wife. <laughs> My job can be impacted by this. What is going on here, man? God bless him. And what's the whole thing about Sharon said she could smell her perfume on his breath? If he never did anything with her, what did she mean? Unless you're just saying that, like, cause like you're so close to her, you're in hell in her perfume, like you're hanging out with her so much, just maybe the jealousy just overriding so much. That's all I can think of. It just it is weird too, cause maybe just cause the girl is like young and attractive, and that's what made Peppa like act really uh jealous throughout the this situation. But when he was again full blown molested by his boss, she was like, "Do it." <laughs> We need this money. You better get felt up. This dude's getting kissed on and felt on. And she wants to bang him and stuff. His pebbles like, hey, it is what it is. <laughs> because she's old. You know what I mean? But, like, she was still old in, like, a foxy kind of way. It's not like she was, like, s decrepit. So, I don't know. I don't know what Peppa was at. But maybe just because the girl was, like, super young. So, she felt like she was an actual threat. That's all I, I can, like, really think of. I, I, I don't know. But yeah, man, all in all, dude, this is a good episode. I enjoyed this a lot. This was very fun. I'm glad you guys let me know that I missed this episode. As I said, I would have definitely gone to it because I look at the episode count when I'm done to make sure I get to that number, and I would end up doing it way at the end, but I'm glad I got to it here. Yeah, this is good, man. This is a really good episode. This is a very fun episode. The whole story was just, everything about this was written really well, and I enjoyed this a ton. This is just fantastic. All right, folks, that is it, man. That is all for this one. Hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.